hello and welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here my name is Joni and I am the blogger behind simplelivingmama.com and here on this channel we talk all things homeschooling and motherhood and all those sweet little moments in between so I'm so happy you're joining me today today we are talking about election and constitution resources for your homeschool so I know the election is coming up really quickly um, and if you are looking for some last-minute election resources I have them here for you today so what we are doing in our homeschool is I am going to be teaching about a one-week study of the United States presidential election um, since that is what is happening right now you know it happens every four years so I do feel like it's a good thing to study with your kids when it's happening and then when we finish that study we're gonna move into learning about the United States Constitution and how our government works so that's what we're gonna be doing for like our history slash social studies um, for my younger kids, I did actually just finish up teaching them about the pilgrims and a little bit about colonial life. Now we have not gotten to the American Revolution yet. So I know ideally I would have liked to have taught them about the American Revolution first, but it's just the timing of everything. And I think it's gonna be okay if we just strictly talk about our government, how our government was founded, and then we'll sort of backtrack a little bit and talk a little bit more about the um, American Revolution and then they'll have all that knowledge about how the government was formed and how it worked. So it's going to be okay uh, at my homeschool that that's just how it's going to work out. So first I'm going to share with you my presidential election resources and the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is this very large election packet from notebooking pages so if you are on my email list i do promote notebooking pages a lot we use them in our homeschool for a variety of things um, they have notebooking pages for just about every single topic that you can think of and these are obviously especially for the 2024 presidential election and what i love about notebooking pages is it's not like a curriculum where everything's laid out for you telling you exactly what to do. You can use them however you want to and they work for just about all ages. This particular set comes with an introduction as well as a table of contents and then she has lots of different notebooking pages. Let's see. Here we go. Lots of different notebooking pages about the candidates. And this would probably go better if I turn the camera around, but I'm gonna try to show them to you like this. There was um, pages for the debate, obviously that's already passed. And then they have electoral college pages so your kids can keep up with the um, electoral votes on election night, There's a map, they have a blank map, and then they have one that's not blank. And then just all sorts of different pages. You can have the kids do vocabulary words if that's what you wanna do, whatever you want. So the way that I'm gonna use these is I'm gonna have the kids do a little bit of research on both of the candidates and fill out those notebooking pages on the candidates. Um, I'm also gonna have them create their own like presidential campaign commercial. So they can use one of these pages to sort of plan all of that out. And then obviously we're gonna keep up with the votes on election night. So this is a really good packet to have if you are needing like a last minute resource for your homeschool for an election study. Okay, and then the other main resource that I'm using for the election study is from Tea Time Together, and this is their presidential elections um, tea time guide. And I love these two because it's not a full curriculum, but it's um, something that you can do. You can plan to sit down and get this whole guide done in one sitting. And it tells you, you know, here's a picture that you guys can look at. Um, it tells you about the picture, has like discussion questions. 
There's a presidential pop quiz. Ideas for an election day party. Um, the top five most important jobs of the president. Let's talk about the upcoming election. And it's just very simple and something that I think would be great to add to your homeschool. Um, just as a great like supplemental thing. Um, this is actually part of their, um, I think it's called their Bonfire Dads series. And this is their first one, Liberty and Justice. And this is what we're gonna use to learn about the Constitution and our government. So this is included in this. And I also think they're giving just the presidential election uh, guide away for free. So if you want the full set, that's available as well. But before I talk to you about that, I'm gonna finish up talking about the election. So the book that we're gonna to use to talk about the presidential election is this one for which we stand because it has a lot of great info on elections. Um, how do you run for political office? As well as how does voting work? And what does the president do? So this is going to be like our main spine that we use to talk about the election. And I'm going to have a full blog post with all of these resources. I'll also have some links down in the description box because there are some really cute picture book read alouds. And I'm actually utilizing YouTube to read those aloud to the kids because Sometimes we can't get the books on time or it's not in the budget to get extra books. YouTube has so many great books read aloud that you can just play the video and the kids can watch the books being read. So I do have like, I think three different um, picture book read alouds that I've chosen to go along with this unit, as well as just a couple of like um, kid friendly YouTube videos on the whole election and voting process. So that's what we're gonna study we're going to spend about a week, a week and a half on it, and then we're going to jump into our um, government constitution unit. So I guess the first thing I'm going to show you is the tea time guides. So this is like the Bonfire Dads um, tea time guide. It's supposed to be used uh, with dads. So that's the way it's designed is dad can sit down and um, go over this with the kids. And this is like a, a seven week study. So you could do one uh, lesson per week. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna stretch it out that long. I might end up doing two per week. I haven't quite made up my mind yet, but um, I talked to my husband about doing this and we're just trying to see if we can maybe make that work with his schedule, but we might not be able to. So if we can't get him to lead the discussion, then I'll just lead the discussion. But um, it is designed for dad to lead, which I think is pretty cool. So we're going to use that to um, learn a little bit more about our constitution and how our government works. And it's set up the same way as the election one. There's like an artwork, um, discussion questions, and then all sorts of great little tidbits of information. It has dad jokes on it. Um, and then like activities that you can do. So for example, write a declaration of family. Um, and these are just really, really cool. So. I'm excited to add more of these to our homeschool. They have several different topics as well. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the books that we are using to go along with our constitution unit. So our two main spines slash living books, the books that I'm gonna be reading aloud to the kids. This is more of a picture book. It's called A More Perfect Union. And it has a lot of lovely illustrations in it. So we're gonna be reading this one aloud and then we're gonna be reading this one. Shh, we're writing the Constitution. Um, it does have some pictures, but it's not strictly a picture book. It's a little bit more of a, I don't know if it's broken up into chapters. Let me look. No, it's not really broken up into chapters, but it is a lot longer. So we're gonna read this one. And then, like I said, a more perfect union. And then I also got, what is the constitution? Um, I'm not sure that all of my kids are gonna sit for this one. So I may give this one to my sixth grader to read for his independent reading. I just, I feel like with the other books that I'm already reading aloud, 
that adding this one to my read alouds is probably going to be a bit too much. So I do think my sixth grader can handle this no problem. So he's going to do what is the constitution. And then I also got this one, the interactive constitution. I really like this book because my kids love like little interactive books like this. So it has all sorts of different information in it. What is the constitution? creating the constitution and all kinds of like little wheels and things you can spin, flaps you can lift, the preamble, the branches of government, and all that stuff. So this is a really cool book that we are including in our constitution unit. And one thing that I forgot to bring with me when I sat down, I have copy work for the kids. So I have preamble copy work for them. That is actually available on my website and it's a freebie. So I'll have that link down below. Um, there's both print and cursive. So the kids that are learning cursive will do the cursive print or cursive copy work for the preamble. And then the other kids will just do the print copy work for the preamble. I am releasing the Bill of Rights copy work as well. So that's something else that we'll add. Um, we do copy work in our homeschool. It's a big part of it. So um, I think having them do some Bill of Rights copy work will be a good thing so that will be on the blog as well or in the shop on the blog and then finally <clears throat> I want to show you some posters that I have I had these hung up in our last house but I haven't hung them up yet they're they're big they're really nice sized this is the Bill of Rights so if you're looking for like something to hang on the walls of your homeschool room um, if you're studying the Constitution or whatever, these are really good prints. There's the Bill of Rights and then there's the Declaration of Independence. It's big as well. And I need to get some, some new like hangers for them so they can look nice hung up on the walls. And our, we don't have a homeschool room here, but we have a dining room that we homeschool in with some wall space. So that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I ha I'm kind of thinking about getting like a little White House 3D model. My kids like to do um, 3D models and I've seen some on Amazon. If you guys have used any, let me know down in the comments. Um, the Lego one, I think there's a Lego one that looks really cool, but it's super expensive. So we're probably not gonna do that one, but um, we'll see. Uh, I, I know that they enjoy doing stuff like that. So if, you know, that's an idea of something you could add to your constitution slash U.S. government study as well. Okay. So like I said, check out the blog post that goes along with this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.